this thing. What? How? Where? You see dead? They've taken years of schooling to know how to work a person. They're not looking at their concern about Heather being missing. They're worried about getting that damn money back. He says we're 99% sure that she committed this crime and she wasn't abducted. And she has two registered handguns, so we're going to put her down if there's resistance. What is that like to hear that? You know, if the FBI is going to kill your child, they're going to be a drug dealer, making threats, and they're going to, you know, I could do something. It's the FBI. I don't have enough bullets to kill on the FBI to protect my baby. Yeah. I'm sorry? All of our mercy rooms are open 24-7. Okay. You're
my baby. And you're, I'm, I'm hopeless. I'm, I'm, I'm powerless. You take a, a little bunch of nothing like Heather and walk into a place and, and steal $3 million, they ain't gonna have it. In New Orleans, I went and met Solis at the Grand Station. It was a long drive, and from there we got off in Miami. Taxi takes us to some motel. The driver says very, very quietly, "Wow, you two got away." And Solis is like, "No, no, just calm down. You're being paranoid." And I'm like, "No, I heard him mumble." You didn't hear him say that? I can't leave. We can't stay here. And he was like, no, just calm down. I don't know if it's just my mind playing tricks on me. Am I getting paranoid? Is this the moment we start to cry? <laughs> the next day he goes to Stephen. under strict orders, I don't go out. Because it's starting to happen. If you know where it's called cheap or the location of the armored van, which the battle license plates are, authorities would like to hear from you. We just spent on about a month and a half ago. We asked the ministry to just build any Russell Rams. And I said, yeah, they said the sign is right in the door. A gentleman called in and said he had run into a warehouse with uh, he believes that it was Dude. Gone, and that's when he found the van. That's some good Dude. And these were sent to FBI identification division. One was Heather Falchi and the other one was Roberto Salas. The significant part of you know, well, who is Roberto Salas? What's his criminal history? Who is Roberto Salas? He had been involved in an armored truck heist before, a botched attempt in 1969. My first impression is, how did these two come together? Because he had some game, you know? He, he knew how to, I know what to do, what to say, and how to get around. You know, I mean, he, he was a player. He played the game good. One of the skills that you learn in prison is how to manipulate people, you know, and I think if you're in there for any period of time, you become a master manipulator. She was young, she was in her 20s, you know, meets an influential older guy. Would she be susceptible to ideas or suggestions? Yeah, sure. What 21-year-old, you know, isn't susceptible to some kind of suggestion? Maybe she just got sucked into this deal and uh, why share $3.2 million if you can have it all yourself? Not only from a greed standpoint, but she's a witness. She had a real fear for her life. You know, we think that based on Roberto's history, you know, he's going to kill her and take the money and run. It's not just news, it's eyewitness news. Presented a threat to him, have I been disposable? 
there was another girl who me who was in She was very instrumental for us because she could go out there. Yeah, you go to the store, go to the can you help us do this? Can you go buy us this? Can you get this thing done? She served us greatly because she could do things that we couldn't do at that time. That was the agreement. So here you have another woman with this guy who you can get to And I was a little jealous of him because the nature of our relationship had evolved into this other thing. This other thing that had been discussed of having more than one female counterpart. So, so Lisa and Marlene, I suppose they were like the reconnaissance. They took the suitcases on a private plane to St. Martin. You can imagine $3.1 million, you know, in 20s and 100s, you know, how much the weight. People in general don't realize the weight a lot. We knew it would take about eight to ten suitcases to carry it. We started contacting UPS, post office, found out they had mailed some boxes. We were able to trace where they sent them to us. So we made arrangements to fly to Miami, Florida. One moment. 